Okay, so I've only got the one shot at this, so I better not knob it up, and I think this is only the second time I've ever recorded something in my car like this, uh, but this is the only chance I've got to do it. So this is a response to Philip Moriarty, who made a response to my response to their questions for anti-SJWs, and what I wanted to do was just to comment on a couple of the points that he'd made, the answers he'd given. First off, thank you, Philip, for your responses. I appreciated them and also appreciated the tone of your video. So the first one that I wanted to talk about was this business, and he in many ways it's a little bit of a trivial one um, but nevertheless it's one that's just kind of got under my skin a little bit I suppose which is this business of pseudonyms on YouTube which as I say it's a trivial issue but it's something that he seems to keep making an issue of and that keeps dragging me back so in his response what he'd said was that well actually no I don't have a problem with these names at all crack on use these names all you like my only problem my only concern is when people hide behind these names um, to bully people or to troll people and if that had been all that I've seen then I wouldn't have had a problem with it but then I go and see a hangout that he's done with Christy Winters following that video coming online and he's back to this line that he's had before about how pathetic he finds it that a middle-aged person uh, would use what amounts to a stage name and, uh, and you know it doesn't matter who it is whether it's Lady Gaga or whether it's Sting or whether it's Dr Dre or whether it's The Edge or whoever it is although of course he never mentions these kinds of people so how he would feel if he was talking about these kinds of people whether he'd make the same point and say I refuse to refer to him as Dr Dre we either use his real name or we don't talk about him at all I don't know the only two people that he talks about this in content in the in in, um, in relation to seems to be Sargon of Akkad and Thunderfoot. And then all of a sudden, it's really, really sad for a middle-aged man. I can't bring myself to use this what amounts to a stage name that they use. And and the thing is, is I don't see how that fits in with this business. That the only time it's a problem to you, Philip, is when somebody's hiding behind that name. Because actually, I don't know what Dr. Dre's real name is. Actually, I don't know what Lady Gaga's real name is. I ought to know what Sting's real name is. It's something Summers, I think, or something like that. But one thing I do know is I do know who Thunderfoot's real name is, right? I do know who Sargon of Akkad's real name is. And their real names are very closely linked with the names that they use on YouTube. So whatever you think about the things that they say, you can hardly make the case. I mean, there's lots of people you can say on YouTube and on Twitter and on other social media who do hide behind these identities and make people's life a misery. But you can't make that case for these two people because their real names are known and are very closely linked with their online identities. The second one was a, a, a business that I talked about. Um, actually, it wasn't in my, my, my four-part series of answers, but it was in another video where I talked about a response that had been made to The Amazing Atheist where they'd likened his subscribers uh, to the equivalent of sorts of Hitler-worshipping Nazis and Christy Winters had liked this as if this was a good example of, a, of how to conduct a response. And so in that, what I'd said is, is that work, words like cook and mangina have no impact and that other words like racist and sexist, actually, we ought to be a little bit more careful with because they do have real life impact on people. And you chided me for that. And what you said was that actually that's not true, that all these words have real life impact. And look, we've had this conversation, right? So there's no, there's no animosity or anything with regard to this. And I know we've worked this one out, but I know that you know that not everybody else is party to that conversation, which is why you've also included the response that you gave to me in your video and why I'm also putting it in a video as well. So what I said in response to you, as you will well know, is that I accepted, the, I conceded that point, that of course these words words have impact and and this is one of the problems why most of the videos that I make are perhaps longer than than is good for them really in terms of keeping people's attention or getting a big subscriber base because I like to dot the I's and cross the T's to get away from these kind of misunderstandings yes of course these words have impact any negative language you use towards somebody can have psychological impact in fact even positive things you say to somebody could have negative psychological impact 
if you think you're doing it for the wrong reason or that you're being sort of uh, sarcastic or whatever. But certainly, yeah, if you give somebody a load of negative abuse, then that could have psychological impact upon them. But what I was trying to differentiate was words that that is the only impact or words that have very tangible impact in other ways. In other words, if I organised a little campaign against you, right, and as part of that campaign, I tried to get everybody in the, uh, uh, on the internet to start labelling you a mangina, I don't think that would cause... Maybe it could cause you some psychological impact. I don't think it would, but that's the only kind of impact. I don't think they'd be dragging you in an office at the University of Nottingham and asking you to explain these accusations that you're a mangina. But if I got everybody to say that you were a child molester or, or that, you, that you raped women or something or that you were a racist and a bigot, right, then I think questions might be asked. And if anybody searched your name on the internet in years to come, they might find your name closely associated with these rather abhorrent things that the vast majority of us wouldn't want to be associated with. I know full well, I'd rather people Googled my name and it said Noel Plum 99 or my real name and then it said Cook and Mangina. I'd much rather have things like that associated with me than racist or sexist or bigot or things such as that. Uh, so that was the point that I was making. Now, you threw an example to me of this this adolescent who'd killed himself as a result of getting this kind of abuse. We had a bit of a, an exchange with that, and I think we both saw eye to eye on that. But I just for the sake of clarity for everybody else, I think for people of that age, it's a kind of perfect storm, which is that for a lot of us who are a little bit older, our online circles and our offline circles, our meat space circles, if you like, are very separate. And so in a way, they provide a little bit of a haven of tranquility. If I have disputes and problems online, they're not dragged offline, right? And I can turn my computer off and walk away from them. In fact, if I have those kind of disputes offline, one of the advantages of the modern world is that I can go online and none of that's a problem. There's like a second life that I can have where those things are not being thrown at me. That's maybe one of the advantages of the modern world. But for a lot of younger people, actually those circles bisect until they're almost laid one on top of each other because the same people that they are dealing with in social media when they go home from school, right, or go home from college are the same people that are their real life uh, offline friends. And so those things just get dragged from one sphere into the other. And so I can understand how much more claustrophobic uh, that could become and how much more of an impact that that could have upon you. Okay, that's pretty much all that I wanted to say. It's nearly dark here and I think I'd better go home. Okay, thank you. Bye for now.